Hey, crow friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Jazz, and I'm here with a little different video than I normally do. I'm not going to do a tutorial about how I straighten my hair, but I want to talk about straightening my hair, how we got here. You've seen the title of the video, so let's just get right into it. So, it's been three years since I straightened my hair, um, and I decided, you know, why not do it for a special occasion? I normally used to do it for New Year's. Uh, annually but now um, honestly I just got bored with straight hair so you know when the year came up the first year came up I'm like uh, I don't have to uh, I think that might have been the year I actually did a wash and go for New Year's which was new for me but um, I just kept going it wasn't like oh I'm gonna do three years I'm gonna have the healthiest hair ever it was I was bored with straight hair so um here we are, three years later, I straightened my hair. One thing I did learn about, I have a completely different head of hair than I had the last time I straightened my hair. Um, I've grown out, I think, two full heads of color at this point throughout my natural hair journey. And you can really tell the difference that I have, like, this is a complete, this is completely different hair than the last time I straightened my hair. And having that routine or setting those boundaries of you know I'm not gonna straighten my hair it really made a difference not saying that you have to do three years but just not having that in your regimen having your hair straightened will make a difference especially if you have color whenever you're getting your hair straightened no matter the condition of your hair always do a deep conditioning treatment beforehand um, make sure you lock in that moisture. Make sure you are giving your hair a good treatment before getting your hair straightened. Um, I do that anytime I ever get my hair straightened. I wasn't that adamant about it in the past. Um, starting my journey, which was the reason why um, I had to remove heat to begin with because I wasn't taking care of my hair while having it straightened and colored and bleached and all that. Three years later, I've straightened my hair, but I will say this is the longest my hair has ever been. Well, maybe high school, but um, all my layers have grown out, which I like. Um, this color that I got back in May, I kind of wish <laughs> I got it straightened because like, I love this color. It looks really nice straight. Um, totally different color when I have it curly. Not, it's the same color, but you know what I mean. Number one thing for me with straightening my hair, I do not own flat irons. I do not touch up my hair. This is almost three weeks old, and I have not laid flat irons on this since my stylist flat ironed it. One of the things that when people straighten their hair, your hairstylist may have straightened your hair, you know, to where she feels like you won't have any damage, but then you go home and you're like, oh, this one piece, let me just, let me just fix this one piece. And it's, it's always the front. It's always what you see. And you're like, oh, this is, this is straight and this isn't nice. So let's, let's just fix this one piece again today. And the next day, like, oh, let's just fix this one piece. That's what causes damage. Unnecessary heat when you continue on a daily basis. That's what's going to change your curl pattern. So a lot of times people are, when they see you, people get their hair straightened. You know, it's like, oh, you're going to have heat damage. You're not going to have heat damage from getting your hair straightened one time. It's, it's If they have it on 600 degrees, maybe so. But when you continue to touch it up, you're allowing yourself for the possibility of heat damage. So with that being said, the health of your hair before you straighten it will also let your hair last a lot longer. And I just wrap this at night, every night. I use a comb. When I wrap my hair, I don't use a brush. For me, that kind of takes down on, you know how, cause like right now it's like oily. It's not as fluffy as it was when I first got it straightened. But using a comb, even though sometimes it makes it difficult, but without using a brush, I feel like a brush adds that oil. It's like it's brushing your scalp oil into your hair and it gets a little more slick quicker than it would if you just use a comb when you wrap your hair. So that's one thing. I only use a comb when I wrap my hair and it lasts, it'll last you three weeks. So it's almost time for it to go. But yeah, this is three weeks, no flat ironing, no touch-ups, and I don't want a flat iron so that I don't do that. 
I started off my YouTube channel about four years ago with straight hair. And at the time, I had made the decision to stop coloring and straightening my hair at the same time, which made a huge difference to get me to where I am now. In the past, I do, I do a color touch-up, straightening, which would include blow drying, straightening, all of that in one setting, which was not good. And plus I was, I was really, really high blonde. I was like a platinum blonde at the time. So as you can see here, this was when I started my YouTube channel, my hair was not in the greatest condition. And this is a completely different head of hair than I had at this time. And at the time, this was progress for me. This was me making the necessary changes in my hair journey to get me to where I am now. I'm not saying it's gonna take you three years, but you have to start somewhere to say, hey, what I'm doing isn't working. I have to start doing some drastic changes. The drastic changes that you make to your hair that causes the damage, you have to do such, you have to be just as drastic to get the change that you want. Cause at this time, like I was never wearing wash and goes with this head of hair never um it's just it just wasn't happening like washing goes it was just it just wasn't my thing i was just like you know my, my hair doesn't do that but my hair wasn't in the state to do that because i had implemented so much damage to my hair and you know and here i am starting a youtube channel to help people transition to get to this point so i made the decision to only do heat once a year and I had not touched up my color. My plan was to grow out this entire head of color, which was my old blonde, covered with brown, and then it faded to what it was there. So if you've been keeping up with my channel or if you've been watching, a lot of people thought that I had only dyed the tips of my hair. Depending on when you started following me, you saw that I had that golden color on the tips of my hair. That was me growing out all of this color, which included flexi rods, twist outs, any low manipulation hairstyles and when I say low manipulation I mean styles that I can start on a Sunday it'll get me through the week to my next wash day without having to retwist without having to add product without having to manipulate my strands in any way because with having color as well as just like the perm or with color or any transitioning that you're doing you can have a lot of breakage where the line of demarcation, or am I saying that right? Yes, you know what I mean. The set, the good hair, the bad hair, where it meets in the middle, it can break. So, I think I said that right. Anyway, um, so yes, I decided to grow out my entire head of hair of color because I wanted new color. I'm jazz color curls. I love having color, so I decided I'm going to have color over heat. So at the time I had done one year, no heat. So going forward, I didn't plan on doing three years. I was just going to say, Hey, you know what? We'll see what happens in a year if I want to do color. But this year, my plan was to grow that color out. So I was trimming it off slowly, but surely each month I would just trim off some color. So keeping it at one length. Um, I didn't want to do a big chop. You don't have to do a big chop. Whether you're tra transitioning a perm, color, heat damage, a big chop is not necessary for your hair journey. I did not do one either time. I was able to slowly but surely get all that color off, maybe like an inch left, and I got new color. Um, I had a full head of red hair, but this was brand new color on virgin hair. And I hadn't been, I hadn't colored virgin hair in a very long time. And I realized at that time, that my hair, even after coloring, was still able to be healthy. I was doing wash and goes. We were lit. Everything was great. And I realized that making the change to grow out all that bad color instead of continuing to reprocess it made a huge difference in the health of my hair. I had a whole head full of beautiful curls because I, I allowed all the damage to grow off trim it off, be patient, and there I was. So the benefits of me deciding to remove heat completely from my routine and growing out color at the same time, I began to notice that my hair, my curl, I learned my curl pattern. I learned what my curls liked. I learned that I can do wash and goes just like everyone else. I just have to learn 
the proper way to do mine instead of comparing it to someone else's. And that's a major thing if you're doing a hair journey to not compare your hair to other people. You don't know what state they're in. You don't know where they've come from or any of that. So you just have to start where you are and make the necessary changes for your hair and you can, you'll see the difference. So as you can see here, the difference between my wash and goes without color or it was a mix of color and damage and then a full head of virgin hair colored, you can, it's a completely different head of hair, but I, I come from that. So it's, you, you just have to work your way there. Don't necessarily stress about what your hair looks like at that time. You know what you've done to your hair. Like, you know what you've done. So <laughs> I knew what I did to my hair. So it was like, I didn't even think about doing wash and goes. It just wasn't, wasn't an option. So now that I had gotten here, this was progress for me. I can wear wash and goes. Like, I can do this. So another big thing for me in my um, hair journey I love this red color, but I decided that I didn't want to do heat anymore. Like I said before, I was bored with it. I love big hair. Um, I just loved my styles. I love my perm rise sets. And like, this is this is very easy to keep up with, but it's it's just boring. Um, but when I get to the point where I'm, I'm seeing length that I'm retaining, you know, that's always great. So I think going forward, I'm going to try and do more styles that show the length that I've been able to retain and just so I can keep up with my new hair journey which will be to uh maybe get to waist length I guess so coming from where I've you know I've, I've struggled to get to where I am now and I've learned a lot of things along the way to you know less is more don't do what you think others are doing for their hair is going to work for your hair you have to figure out what works for you I always try to show you guys the styles that I do um, and the routine that I do, but it doesn't, I don't want you to think that, you know, your hair is going to be just like mine because that's not what this is about. This is about figuring out a routine that will prevent you from continuing to wreak havoc on your hair. So protective styles, low manipulation hairstyles, I can show you how to do those. Um, they're not going to be great the first time. None of my styles were right the first time. So I can show you <laughs> disaster that I've had along the way. And you wouldn't think that that was ever my, my perm rod set or flexi rod set, bantu knots. Practice makes perfect. But if you're dedicated to get a head full of healthy hair to come back from any setbacks you've had, I've had plenty of setbacks. And I started being natural a long time ago and I did it the wrong way I was straightening my hair every two weeks getting color every every time I had an inch of roots I was getting my color touched up all my hair fell out um and I was like my hair was like neck length and I was still getting my hair dyed getting it flat ironed I even had to, I couldn't get my hair done without a half a bulk. And we you know if you were getting half a bulk, you know what I mean. I couldn't get my hair done without getting a half a bulk, a weave, and I was still doing it to my hair. And it's like nothing nothing was more important than having that bomb color and some stray hair. But now I know that's not the way to go. So I chose one over the other. I'm not saying I'm never gonna straighten my hair again. I'm just saying I made a choice because I like color. So you have to make the choice for yourself. What do you like more? A lot of people don't like color because they like to wear their hair straight. And that's perfectly fine. But having wearing your hair straight doesn't mean your hair isn't healthy. So with that being said, I'm going to be saying goodbye to the straight hair today. It was nice though because I haven't seen my hair like, like I said, I haven't seen my hair like this in a while. So... It was nice to see, but um, going forward, I am going to continue to try to have the healthiest hair and have it colored at the same time. So I think I'm gonna do one more color this year. I'm gonna be a new mommy, so I think I'm gonna do a new, new look. You know, new mom, new look. So I think I'm gonna do some blonde, blonder highlights. 
not necessarily like a full head of color like I did with the red. But I want to go blonder. And I want to try to get the waist length. So with my shrinkage, being that I can track this hair journey, hair length journey, um, I guess I can track it with wet hair or somehow. But that's what I, that, those are my goals for my new hair journey. Um, I've come a long way and it's not easy. Don't let anyone tell you that. Oh, all you have to do is A, B, and C. You have to be dedicated because it was very hard for me to give up some things that I always did. Like straightening my hair. I was getting my hair straightened too much. So I think that's why I don't like it now because I used to do it all the time. So I may check in with some straight hair every now and then, but I'm not going to say I'm going to go another three years without straightening my hair. So I may keep, continue to do it annually, but I don't know when you'll see this again. I am going to get those highlights. Like I said, I'm going to do, they'll go a little blonder. That'll be fun. And I'm going to try to get the waist length continue my healthy hair practices continue to help you guys as well and I think that is it and also if you want more tips like this I try to keep this short um, and not just talk because I don't normally do videos like this and I don't want to make this video 25 minutes but check out my ebook um, I do want to make another ebook about just color um, I'm thinking about doing that. So comment down below and let me know if you would be interested in seeing. If you haven't seen my ebook, the first one, um, check that out at jazzcolorcurls.com. I have product guides, hairstyles, um, basically showing you my hair journey and you know tips on what to do, deep conditioning, color, straightening, all the good basics of transitioning and being natural are all on my ebook so check that out if you haven't already and then let me know if you'd be interested in me doing an ebook that's specific to color only um because i can talk about that all day as well and what else i think that is it for now if you have any more questions you know i can talk about here all day so comments and let me know and if you don't follow me on instagram head over to instagram jazz color curls I'm always answering questions, DMs, as much as I can. Until next time, bye-bye.